Hello and welcome, guys. This is our Halloween episode here at Cyberpunk TV. We're going to be playing the pre-alpha tech demo of Project Zomboid. Now, before you think I got myself hit in the head and I don't know what I'm talking about, yes, Project Zomboid is officially um, an early access game on Steam, and that game is a lot, lot different than this game. This game was what was given away um, after pirates sort of ravaged their code and realized they could get the full game for free um, because of this paid alpha demo. Uh, they actually just gave this away for free and just cut off all updates to it. So this is sort of like a weird side branch of the game from very early in development that was used to entice people to support it. In fact, this game had a really sordid past with crowdfunding. Um, they were pre-Kickstarter, pre-Indiegogo, Th those sites existed, but they were really not as prevalent as they are today um, in, in getting video games through and funded. So these people actually ran their own website um, and took donations through PayPal and Google and got in serious trouble because those, those companies were not quite ready to have that sort of thing done through their system. So they actually locked a lot of those funds for quite a while because Project Zomboid was not giving anything to the people that were paying them. They were just taking donations. And I mean, the file that was given to them was just an empty text file because at that point there was no real way for them to take downloads without actually um, having something there. So it's sort of weird. There was also a bunch of other strange things that happened during the development of this game. For instance, part of the reason that this is a split off branch from the main game is their flat was broken into and the laptops that contained this game code were stolen. And so right as they were getting closer to implementing some major features, all of that code just went away. And um, I mean, I've never heard a better case for source control to get this code outside of the machine you're working on. But uh, a lot of times with these indie studios, they're doing the best they can, and that's what happens. So the whole 3D engine that is part of the game now was bit, kind of built after that time. So basically what you're seeing here is... Other than the name and a few odds and ends, kind of the gameplay style, there really isn't a lot in common with the actual game on Steam. Um, I suggest you support it if you like it. Uh, this, however, is free available online. Watch out, there's some sites that have it that have malware and weird stuff, because this is a very strange download. Um, now, Ben, Ben, why are you rambling for 20 minutes and not playing the game? Well, I will answer your question. Your que the reason we're playing Project Zomboid, the pre-alpha version, is because this is one of the very few things that I ever crowdfunded. I bought into this game hard, and the reason I bought into this game hard was because of this demo. And so we're going to play it together, and I'm hopefully going to have waves of nostalgia and um, just be super stoked to be back in this game. So... Project Zomboid was and is currently a procedurally generated game where you play the story of a survivor that is not special in any way. You're not Rick Grimes, you're not crazy, you don't have a giant sword, you don't have infinite crossbow ammo. You play a regular person just struggling to get by. Um, and that's what made Project Zomboid so special for me, is when they designed this version of the game, there is an actually scripted story sequence that you play through, a cute little story um, it's just absolutely, like, just desolating. It's just the hardest thing to get through because it's super emotionally charged. They did a really good job with it. And so I was really sad that in later versions of the game, the, a sort of more generic tutorial takes its place. Um, hopefully the characters in this game will get to eventually make it back to the original version, and we'll see. But for now, I can hold on to my hope and I can play this version of the game. Now... Bear with me, it's riddled with bugs. This was a pre-alpha, so we're gonna have to do our best. Let's lock and load. Oh, I'm super excited. These are the end times. Man, the text is really slow. <clears throat> there we go. There was no hope for survival. Oh my God, this music, oh, it's so good. This is how you died. That, that line, that line right there gets me right here. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, sweet. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's fine. We can deal with this. Just... Christ, it hurts. 
Fuck, I'm sorry. I'm also sorry, Brian. Right, this is bad. I know this is bad, but we're still here. You're still breathing. All of our stuff, they just took it. Okay, hold fire for a second. Let me stop this bleeding. There'll be sheets in here. We can rip to dress the wounds. Maybe some painkillers. All right, first order of business. This is Kate, our wife, our wife, our white. This is Kate Smith, our wife. And I'm Bob Smith, or lovingly known in the community as Bald Spot. Let's find some stuff. Let's take care of our wife. Let's see, let's search the end table. So this game, it actually reminds me of if you ever played like that Pepsi, Team Pepsi or like Club Penguin. You can search inside the wardrobe. Okay, I'm going to the wardrobe. There we go. There's some, some there's some sheets. Okay, where's my inventory? There. Um, I'm going to open all of these boxes. I have so much more screen real estate than they ever imagined. <laughs> I'm taking this pillow too. I can go in there. Man, this is an, even a later version than I played. The menu used to go this way. All right, well, whatever. I'm super stoked. Okay, so shift will allow you to run. All right, well, let's go to the bathroom. We're kind of in a hurry here. I don't want her to die. Let's get some painkillers. Can I keep that? Is there a way to pin my menu? Okay. Um, bathroom, bathroom, bathroom. All right, well, let's close this door. Um, all right. Is there a way to, hold on, just pause for a second. Yeah, here we go. This is my favorite button. It just makes the entire game way, way bigger. Oh, what? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Hold on, unpause. There we go. That looks way better. All right, so you can look at it from far away, but yeah, this is much better. All right, let's 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 craft some bandages. Ooh, sheets. Get in there. Eight bandages. Sweet. All right, let's use a bandage on her leg. She's bandaged. All right, she's still bleeding. Um, that leaves something to be desired. Let's give her some painkillers, too. Hey, have some painkillers, Kate. Here, take one of these. I'm sorry I fucked up, hon. I screwed everything. Screwed us. You are fine. We are fine. We're just gonna have to hold up here for a while. I can see a shed in the yard. There might be some tools, some wood. This place will be a fortress third fortress this week. Kate, you're raining on my parade. Don't be long. All right, so what we've established is that this is not our house. Uh, we're in somebody else's house. Um, I'm not quite sure what we're doing to get here. Maybe we'll get some more context. Let's see what we got. Um, I should really not be leaving doors open, but I'm going to do it anyway, uh, just be so I know where I've searched. Remind me to come through and close them all. All right, so hey, a mudroom. Like a storage closet, I guess. That's outside. I don't want to go out there. Um, man, I run so slow. Here, oh, here we go. All right, so what's nothing in there? Can opener. A cooking pot. That's awesome. Stove is off. I actually failed. I lost this game once because I forgot to turn the stove off. I literally, like, I just left it on and it eventually set fire to the house and I died. <laughs> it was awful. This game's pretty unforgiving. All right, what do we got in here? Dude, a hammer? That is a melee weapon if I've ever seen one. Some nails and some boards. Awesome. Barricade the safe house doors and windows. You know... Okay, with the hammer equipped, you can now put up barricades by selecting planks in your inventory and clicking on windows and doors. Okay. Um, I honestly... I don't know. Oh, I'm hungry. But I don't have any food. I'm, oh, I'm just peckish. All right. Um, I'm actually wondering if it wouldn't be better to just not, just not barricade ourselves in this house. I actually don't know. Um, let's let's go. Let's go this way. All right. Um, 
Barricade the window. Well, I think I should barricade these windows, definitely. I mean, what's the likeliness that they're gonna... See, I don't think they're gonna crawl through the second story. That doesn't seem reasonable to me. I'm just gonna let Kate sleep. I'm not gonna hammer nails right next to her head. I'm going to... Yeah, this is definitely... Like, this door is not happening. Um, Actually, wait. Is There's no door here. There is a door here. Let's blow, barricade this one and these windows and then that window and leave that door open, that will be our entrance and exit to the house. Or do you think it would be more likely that they come from the side? I think that it'll be, this is, I like this door better. Let's do that. All right, so it's the middle of the night. Let's put up some barricades. There's a barricade. There's a barricade. There's a barricade. I can rip them down, but I don't see any reason to, see, I don't have any food in here at all. So I'm gonna just, not do that and does this that does not lead outside does it have any windows i wonder the bathroom doesn't have any well the bathroom does have a window nope that's the next room over isometric cameras are the best guys <laughs> all right i am going to ba also barricade this window and then just because there's nothing in here of value whatsoever i'm also going to barricade this door and you know what, that door too. Might as well, let's just barricade everything. And this leaves us two boards, which I will use upstairs here. I'm going to put them over these windows so that nobody can see in. There's not a very high chance of them breaking. I just think that that's better. And what we'll do is we will just keep this door closed and that window closed. Cause see, they could see us through there. I probably should have saved a board, but no, that's cool. We'll just never go in there again. That room is dead to us. Okay, we're safe. I, Hero. Glad to see your sense of humor is back. Hero's fine. Without you, I'd be cold, dead, and roaming the streets. And limping. That, too. I need to go find supplies. It's pitch black out there, hon. You won't see the neighbors till they've taken chunks from you. We'll sleep hungry. I'm definitely drowsy. All right, Kate, you're right. <coughs> <coughs> Ugh, I've caught the zombie infection. Ugh. Yeah, now I'm actually hungry, like honestly. And that was one of the major selling points of this game was you have sort of Sims-like condition that goes down, both mental and physical, um, along with NPCs that contain trust and many other things. So if we take good care of Kate, she'll take good care of us. Well, or something. Well, I could speed up the game, I guess, but... Are we gonna get up today? Baldy. Ah, 9 a.m., okay. I miss the days when we didn't have to take a hammer to bed. Time to go out, see what I can see. If you see one of them, just run, no man stuff. Just bring back food. You got it, hon. We're not running anymore, sweetheart. All right, I'm gonna click these buttons so they go away. Hey, that's my inventory, okay. Now it's my medical panel, okay. Actually, I am gonna look at my medical panel one more time quick. Game. I regret this decision immediately. Oh, the buttons are not centered. Okay, hold on. Blip. Blip, blip. Hey, I can't even, there. Okay. There we go, all right. <coughs> Man, I have got such a cough. All right, so we cannot get out that way. Did I check the refrigerator? I did, didn't I? Yeah, okay. There's no reason to keep food in there because none of the electricity works as far as I know. The house to the east. Now, there, okay, so control is what... I can strafe? I can like mouse look? That's super tight, but... Yeah, control allows me to swing my hammer. All right. On pavement here. Is this east? I think this is east. Never eat sour worms. Yeah. This is west, you dumbass. And there are zombies over there. Well, 
All right. I'm sorry, Kate. I... Oh, I, dude, I want to fight a zombie. We're going. That guy, turtleneck guy, Steve Jobs, come here. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay. Things are fine. Things are fine. I did exactly what she told me not to. I did man stuff. Okay. Yep. Okay. Controller Z. Dude, Z is way more reliable to get to. I will stop accidentally pressing the Windows key. So I'm going to go with that from now on. <laughs> All right. What's up, house? Nothing. I wonder why it told me about combat. Because there are zombies. Nice. Did I get bit? No, I am doing awesome. All right. Hey, tomato soup. More soup. That is enough for both of us for a day. I mean, I guess. I've always wondered... You know, I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to turn this on. See if the gas is still working. Oh, carrots? They're not even spoiled yet. And an apple. All right. I'm going to close this. Beautiful. All right, let's get back to, back to home base here. Crap. Hey, Zombo. Zombo. Ooh, I took a hit. I took a hit. I have very minor damage to my abs. And I'm in some minor pain. <clears throat> Alright, so... I'm not gonna heal until I'm full. Because I can't heal on an empty stomach. I can't heal my stomach on an empty stomach. Think you can manage that? This kitchen's pretty beat up. But I think I remember. Alright, first of things first. Um open use the can find a can opener and craft a pot of soup okay well let's go to crafting can opener can pot can i put carrots in it nope all right crafting a pot of soup go i can put that on the stove turn it on honey it's working this piece of shit radio picked something up oh really Hold on. Six days, Knox County Army Camps. I'm turning this stove off before I go upstairs. Some Muldog citizens. Not return home, they will be forcibly dispersed. The president has released a statement asking them for calm and patience. And key Republicans have been quick to attack that they're calling or what they're calling a do nothing agenda. Now that's true. They just said they're doing nothing. And communications blackout and a no fly zone firmly in place. That basically means we're on our own. There's still no clue as to the nature of the outbreak. Right, well, because no one's searching on that, they're worrying on not catching it. Pictures released by U.S. forces, however, show crowded streets. Suggesting that, despite it all, the townsfolk of Muldra are living as normal. That is not at all true. <laughs> crowded streets are not a good sign. Alright, I'm gonna go turn the suit back on. I am super paranoid about... Oh, there's blood all over the wall. Let's... Oh. Oh, dude, did you just see that? Did you just see that? I saw the door open. Howdy, neighbor. Look, we're just camped out here. The threat's outside, not in here. I was just out in the street, heard your radio. Shit. Thought I'd drop on in. Oh, and we got a little friend in here, bald spot? My wife's upstairs. Just take what you need and go. Yes, sir. Yes, I will. Let's go meet your lady. Come on, dude. No. I'd put away that hammer if I were you. I don't take kindly to folks waving lethal weapons about. 
You're a piece of crap. You have a lethal weapon right now. What a coincidence. Up the stairs or I shoot. Alright. I'm go. I'll go up the stairs. I'll go up the stairs. I'm upstairs. Alright, what do you want? Into the room. Now. Well, I'm in the room. Shit! Oh, he just put us down. I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Crap. Crap. All right. Um. <sighs> all right, all right, all right. We're going again. We're going again. That was really short. We're going again. Okay, I'm going to just... Can I skip this? No, I cannot skip this dialogue. That's fine. Once it lets me move, I'll bandage her up real fast, and then we'll get some food. So listening to the radio is a bad plan. Um, all right, so maybe I can, I mean, there was definitely a chance that I could have hit him. I'm just not very good. Um, let's get you some stuff, sheets and painkillers. All right, let's go. Get this. Get this. All right. Craft you some bandages. Beautiful. Have some painkillers, honey. There you go. You didn't fuck up. I'm going to go get barricades. Just You just be chill, all right? You didn't screw us. Stop. All right. Already on top of things. I really like the writing. <laughs> this game, this place will be a fortress. Third fortress this week. All right, so forearmed is forewarned. Before we listen to that radio broadcast, I'm going to board up all the doors. Um, let's just do exterior stuff. That door sucks. I'm not doing that one. We'll, we'll go through this one. Or did he break? He broke our fortifications, didn't he? That or something else did. All right. I think I'm going to have to do... Hey. All right. So I still have four left, which would be the two that I didn't put. I didn't do this, and then where, where's the extra one that I'm forgetting? Oh, I didn't do that other door? No, that doesn't make sense. I don't know. We're going to... Let's go back upstairs. Honey, I did it. Oh, I, ha I think I actually have to go back out to the shed again. Here we go. Maybe he won't be able to hear through there. That's wishful thinking, but... <clears throat> Alright, I'll go back to the shed. You want me to go to the shed? I'll go to the shed. Alright. Find some wood. I did. I found some wood. See? Wood. Wood. I did it. Oh, man. I may have glitched this game out. We might not actually be able to do anything. Can I pry? What's, like, not necessary? Uh, the one upstairs. Find some wood. I'm gonna... This one. Hammer. Open. Do I have woods? Nope. It just opened it. It didn't actually... Darn it. Well, game. I glitched it. All right, um, what if we just fast forward? You gonna let me go to bed hungry? Like, I, do you wanna sleep? Yes. Maybe that'll let me fast forward. I'm gonna sleep till morning. Yeah, here we go. No man stuff, gotta go with it. just bring back food. All right. We're not running anymore, sweetheart. Yep. It's 5 a.m. though. It's really a bad time. 
Okay, we're gonna... I just went to sleep with the door wide open. I am the worst. All right, I'm going right over there. We're just gonna do this real quick. Maybe horrible person will not actually show up if the game doesn't think that he should. That seems like wishful thinking, but that's okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Nice. I did it without getting hurt this time. Alright, cool. I'll take it. Oh, there's more stuff in here. I'm gonna eat these right away. Yeah, I am fed. I'm gonna give all the soup to Kate. And I'll just eat the fresh things that'll spoil. I mean, that's not fair, but f I mean, for this one meal, it should be okay. Alright, so that's barricaded. Like, that's done up. There's the window that I forgot. That's fine. We got soup. I can definitely manage some soup. You just got to give me a second here. Do, 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 do. Perfect. Pot of soup. Okay, come here. Put that on. Heat the soup. Perfect. All right, I'm going to stay down here. And I'm just going to, like, wait Right? Like, what do you think? Yeah, what do you think I'm gonna do, huh? Sucks I can't see the text advancing over here. This is where I wanna be, right here. Maybe he doesn't show up unless I go upstairs. Hello? This okay, okay, nature of the outbreak. Okay, okay. Here we go. This is so cheating. Oh shit, I forgot about the soup. After everything I said. Oh my god. I turned off the oven. No, I didn't. Bab, no, no. Come on. Come on, Kate. Come on. We're going. Kate, we're going. We're going right now. This will be okay. This will be okay. We'll just go to the shed. That's probably fine. Okay, fire. Don't block off this door. This is my only exit. Come on. Let me out. Okay. All right, so that definitely is a thing that happened. I am such an idiot. I completely forgot about the fire. <sighs> well, that's another thing that can happen in this game. I'm just going to keep moonwalking, I guess. Dude, it seems weird. Like, it seems like I'm going really, really slow now. Slower than usual. It's taking me, like, 45 in-game minutes to drag her across this. It's okay, though. This is pretty safe, right? This is pretty safe. This little shed, no one's gonna get us in here. There. Perfect, right? Wonderful. Sorry, Kate. This is the best I got for you. Maybe the guy will go in there and try to rob us. Because, I mean, look at this. Look at this blaze of glory. It's definitely attracting the zombies. Okay, so that's working pretty well. Um, it seems like you have to get right next to him. All right, so, hmm, hmm, wow, I cannot 
deal with that many dudes. I feel bad leaving, like, Kate, but we really need supplies. We need... Oh, I wish I would have grabbed the pillow, because maybe, like, I could make a bed. I mean, that seems like a stretch, but, I mean, this game does have pretty decent creation tools. Yeah, whatever. I'm going, I'm going in the house. I'm going in the flaming house. I'm gonna go get that pillow. Oop, I gotta do this. Okay, see, this part of the house isn't even on fire yet. It's fine. Okay. Alright, I got a pillow. Every This seems really unsafe. Why would I do this to get this this thing just for this? Whoa, 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 whoa. How do I get back to the shed? Alright, um, well, I guess we're going scavenging for supplies because there's no way back until that fire burns out. To be fair, I really like how the whole building kind of burns like that. That's really cool. Yeah, and I'm drowsy, but I don't have any place to sleep. Because... Come on. Dude, so many chips. So much soda. Oh, this is the best. All right, all right, all right, cool. Now, I'm going to not fight those guys. I have no reason to. I'm just going to bo boogie. But I am going to drink a soda. Um, one of the ones with caffeine. Try to combat my drowsiness a little bit. Let's pound two, two super caffeinated sodas. That'll work. Um, hmm. When did this building burn down? I should really get off the streets. I just... What is that? What is that? Oh, floor stake. Floor stake, I don't want you. How do I get rid of things? Can I not... No, I do not want to sleep on the bench in the middle of the diner. That's awful. I'm going way back here. Hey, there's an apple that's still good. Uh, let's put the floor steak in here, and let's put the moldy bread in there. I don't have any interest in those as of yet. Anything good in here? Oh, yeah. And, dude, like actual steaks? Can I burn them in the house fire? Dude, and a whiskey bottle. I can just... I'm going to take whiskey and beer back to Kate. Oh, yeah. We're going to eat like kings tonight. Oh, crap. All right. That's all right. It's all right. So, the zombie virus in this universe is a very slow-spreading infection. Um, you do have to get scratched to catch it, and that does cause it to spread, but it's more similar to kind of like a flu, in that it has to kind of move through your body. Um, flus don't move through your body. What the hell am I talking about? It has to... Dude, I like the, the, the brick thing burned. Can I walk through the brick, the holes now? No. Um, but... It sort of has to spread through your body before you start to be infected, so it's really not too bad. All right. I'm really, really tired. Awareness severely reduced. At least that guy never came and tried to kill us again. My, oh, I'm running out of air. I guess it's cause, yeah, well, it's cause I'm very, very tired. I guess in Project Zomboid, you cannot, <laughs> you cannot just exist on soda alone. I'm slightly fed, but I'm super tired. Oh shit, what were you doing by my house? What were you doing by my house? Oh no, I took a hit. I'm, I'm okay. I'm going, to, I'm going in here. Oh, she's okay. She's okay. She's okay. She's alive. All right, I'm going to give Kate some food. Kate, how do you feel about chips? No, I don't want to carry Kate. It, was I? No, I, did I give her chips? I'm not sure. Here, have a carrot. 
just like moves her around. All right, well, can I sleep here? I mean, this is a terrible place. She's banished. She's not, um, she's only normal bleeding now. She's not badly bleeding anymore. Whew. Drink some whiskey, I guess. Can I, can I rest here? Like, is that what the pillow allows you to do? Hold on. Um, can I, wait, what if I just click on her? Can I click on Kate? Nope, that just allows me to move her. We've established that. Can I just, there's nothing I can do to like sleep? Can I just sleep here? I was able to like sleep on that seat. All right, we're just gonna, we're just gonna power out. We're gonna time it out. Here we go. Wait till morning. I'll stay up all night and then Kate and I will head back into the burned out house and I'll try to find somewhere to sleep. I think that that's fair. I'm gonna eat again. Just eat an apple. All right, Kate, come on, we're going. <sighs> all right, I hate to make it, but man, when they talk about the old ball and chain, in this case, they are absolutely serious. I wonder if there's anything left upstairs. Like, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, okay. Wow, dude, bald spot, you're a killing machine. I took a hit though. Come on, get him. Okay. I've reconsidered my plan to go. Okay, we're just, we're going back. We're going back here. Oh gosh, things are terrible. I'm going, no, we're just going back in here. I can't even barricade the door. All right, Kate, you just chill. I'm gonna, gonna defend our home with my body. Cause I wanna kill all the zombies that know where we are so that they can't draw more. There, I am actively pleading now. <laughs> I am so boned. All right, um, what else I got? I got uh, bandages? There, I bandaged my arm, because that was the only thing that was actually bleeding. So like, yeah, unlike most video games, crazy bandages don't just, just work all the time. Like, there's no reason. Yeah, there. I'm gonna keep taking painkillers. Take painkillers until you don't have any more pain. That's what they're for. There, feeling slight pain. Here, take some of these. Nope. I can no longer do anything but drag my wife around. That's sad. Oh, I really need to sleep. Can I just like sleep here? Uh, sleep. Put the pillow on the cabinet and sleep there. Sleep. Oh no, what did I just do? Oh no, no, that's not what I wanted at all. That is horrible. I, com oh, I completely forgot about that. Oh crap, I forgot that pillow was added as a way to just abort the, the, the sequence. The, oh no. The, um, the tutorial is like the only mission that there was in this game. And, uh, and that's how you quit it. You kill your wife because she's slowing you down. Oh my God. All right, I'm done guys. I can't go on. I feel so terrible. That is not what I want. I just wanted to make like a weird puppy dog bed. <sighs> Where? Oh. Where's all my, where's my whiskey? Drink the rest of this whiskey. Picture of Kate. You deserve this. This goes in your inventory. I'm just gonna put it there. I'm the worst human being there ever was. I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm done, guys. I hope you like this. Uh, happy Halloween. Be safe in all of your endeavors and keep pillows away from your loved ones.